Check this out. Now that's how you turn on some Christmas lights. How did you do that? Whoa! Holy shit! Oh boy! All you have to do is ask. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Alright people, it's time to get our wave on. Not your parade wave with the crazy stiff hand, all right? It's time to get our energy wave on. Let's get into it. All right, a few quick things that you need to know. This is just like the laser effect that I do, except with a few little twists on it, all right? So instead of showing you all of that all over again, I'm just going to post the link to the laser effect tutorial in the description of this video and I will have a link to it at the end of the video so I am being lazy yes I am okay just deal with it people it doesn't make sense to do it all over again so I'm just gonna give you the links so if you want to go ahead and head on over to the links watch that first and then come back to this Okay, people, you're back, all right? So, if you actually make it this effect, then I assume that you watched the laser effect tutorial. There are a few minor differences that I'm going to key you in on right now. When you go to Red Giant No Life Factory, you need to use the preset for Arc Welder, all right? Also, in Pinnacle Studio 17, the setup for Magic Bullet looks is a little bit different than it is in Avid Studio and Pinnacle Studio 16. So there is no super bloom effect in Pinnacle Studio 17. I use one called Renoir. All right, it's in the Master Artist Pack, and it's called, once again, Renoir. I think that's how they say it in France. I don't know. And then you have to add an effect called Turbulent Edges. So let's go into Magic Bullet Looks and add that, and then let's go and add Turbulent Edges. So I'm going to right-click on the photo that we created of the laser. And I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. Once I'm here, I'm going to go to Add-ons. Let me go ahead and put this somewhere where I can see it first. Because the reason why I want to put this somewhere where I can see it first is because when I open it up in Magic Bullet Looks, it'll preview this frame right here so I can see what it looks like when I add it to it. So I went ahead and moved my playhead on the scrubber to somewhere where I can see the laser. Now I'm gonna click on add-ons. I'm gonna go to Red Giant Filmmaker Toolkit. And I'm gonna go to Magic Bullet. Go to the plugin and I'm gonna click on open. And now we got Magic Bullet looks. Now, if we go to looks, we wanna go to the Master Artist Pack. And then we want to scroll down until we find Renoir. So when we click on it, you can see the effect that it takes on a little brighter and things like that. Now, there also are some other options on here if you want to try some different ones. There's a whole bunch of different ones. You could try like uh, Diffusion. It's one called uh, Softness. It's one called Diffusion Max, which is pretty, pretty hot right there. It takes out a lot of the blue, though, so it's up to you which one you want to use. And then the Master Artist Pack, there's a whole bunch of different ones in here that are pretty cool. Also like the uh, Turner one here, it's pretty cool. But I'm going to stick with Renoir for this one. And now we just need to click on OK. And now we see we got Renoir added on to this. Pretty nice looking. Adds a nice little glow effect to it. All right, now that we got that on, we got to add on our last piece. So what we want to do now is go to 2D, 3D. 
and we want to click the arrow here at the end and we want to add turbulent edges and when we add that on you see all kind of little blue dots and spots all over the place just looking real crazy it's like whoa this is not what I expected well don't worry about it we'll fix that up chief so we want to go to settings and these are the settings that I use you can change them up if you wish to do so for mutation I went and put that on 85 for scale I changed that to 42 for sharpness I changed that to 52 and for gain I changed that to 12 and now you see the laser again and it's got a little bit of funky stuff going on making a little energy wave on there now we click OK and after it renders you get a good nice little playback of the effect yes people that's it it's that simple all right head over to the video the laser effect pinnacle studio 16 avid studio all right check that out first create your laser and then add in the turbulent edges to get the energy wave we all want to see in our lives. Check this out. Now that's how you turn on some Christmas lights. Alright people, you know the routine. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Comments. Leave me your comments, people, all right? I'll always get back to you. If you need help, I'm there for you. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help you need. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.